Sholmes, I have a new case for you. Are you up for it? Dr. Watson, is that even a question? Hi, Irene. How are you feeling? I've been a bit tired and lightheaded recently. I see. Are the details on your chart correct? I stopped taking my BP medication last week because I was having some fainting side effects, like when I came in for a checkup today, but the rest of that information is right. That's odd. Fainting? I have some suspicions, but I need to consult Dr. Watson. Hi, Dr. Watson. I have a consult. Your patient in room 190 just fainted, but she's sitting up now. This is off. She shouldn't be fainting since she stopped taking the medication. What if something else is wrong? Sholmes, remember, an echocardiography is a cardiac ultrasound that can create a moving picture of the heart. Okay, an echocardiography might help. Don't forget, an electrocardiogram, or EKG, measures heart rate, heart rhythm, and the strength of the heart's electrical signals. Let's do an electrocardiogram and take a look at your heartbeat. Hmm, that's weird. It seems normal. I'm going to set you up with a Holger monitor so we can monitor your heartbeat, rhythm, and electrical activity if and when the syncope or fainting spells happen again. How long will I have to wear this machine? Generally, we say 24 to 72 hours, but I think you should come in at 24 hours because of how often your fainting seems to happen. That sounds good, doctor. Hi, Irene. How are you doing? I'm all right. I had some chest pain this morning and feel really tired, but I think it's just stress. I did faint once, though. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the data from your monitor. Arrhythmias are conditions where the heart can beat too slow in bradycardia, too fast in tachycardia, or irregularly. By looking at the data and your symptoms, it seems like you have sinus node dysfunction, meaning your natural pacemaker isn't effectively regulating your heartbeat. This has been causing bradycardia or a slowed heart rhythm. 60 to 100 beats per minute is a normal heart rate, but yours is at 45 beats per minute. Don't forget, a pacemaker is a device surgically placed in the chest or abdomen that can treat arrhythmias. It mimics the heart's natural electrical system using low-energy electrical pulses to regulate the heartbeat. This isn't too much to worry about. All we need to do is place a permanent pacemaker. A pulse generator is a small metal container with a battery that has the tools needed to modulate the rate of pulses sent to the heart. The leads are the wires placed in the heart's chambers to effectively deliver the electrical impulses to the heart and adjust the heart rate. The electrodes at the ends of those leads sense your natural heartbeat and deliver pulses to the heart when needed. We think it'll be beneficial to do a surgical procedure and insert a dual-chambered pacemaker. We will connect the pulse generator to your right ventricle and right atrium using two leads. Wow, and I thought I only had high blood pressure. The surgery was successful and we did not encounter any complications. I recommend that you take a few days off from work. Within three to four weeks, you should feel well-rested and recover to continue your daily activities. Thank you. I solved another case.